Along with Canadian Olympian Crispin Duenas, I'm Carl Larkey here in Las Vegas. And Crispin, it is great to be in Las Vegas in January. Well, this is definitely a different setup than we've seen in the previous years. I mean, it's almost replicating memes, for lack of a better explanation. And we're going to be seeing a lot of great shooting here on the field of play under the bright lights of Vegas in front of, I'm thinking, about 3,000 people behind us right now. And here we go to get underway. It's a tremendous crowd on hand, and we are rolling right into it tonight. This is the recurve competition, the women's bronze medal match. That's Berenger Shu on the left from France, and on the right, the competitor from Korea, Shim Ye Ji. And the difference this year, it's almost, well, it, it is quite a bit different from outdoor competition where you qualify during the week. Then it's all done on Friday. Then you have Friday night, maybe even Saturday night till you shoot again. These archers have just come off the shooting field in another part of the South Point Hotel and Casino where they have just qualified to get to this match. Yeah, that's right. Um, all of the archers that you've seen, that you're going to see today, have already competed at another stage of the World Cup, which was in the countries that you've mentioned just prior to this. So these archers have qualified and made it to this stage. And then when they got here, they still hadn't figured out who was going to be shooting in the medal matches. So they had to shoot up to the semifinals to find out who was going to be going into the finals. And that was done just adjacent to this field that we have here on Arena 2. And here we are in Arena 1. And we are going with Shim E.G. shooting first on target number two. So just underway here in Las Vegas. This is the women's bronze medal match. And a 10 to start it off. Of course, that's, that's the name of the game. That's a very good start for her. And it's interesting that she shoots the middle target first. Darren Jarchou from France, a silver medalist at stage one in Marrakesh, also starts off with a 10. And just to note, just for the uh, audience that has not seen an indoor World Cup in a while, since it's been a year since we've done this, um, each archer gets 20 seconds to shoot their arrow. It's at 18 meters and a vertical three spot. As you can see on the targets, there is no X ring, so the archers can only score up to 10 points. If there's a tie, then they will do a shoot off. And again, 20 seconds to shoot each arrow. That doesn't give you much time to to mess up when you've gotten to full draw. You, it's, the shot just has to go. And that's a great score, great intro for this match for Miss Shim from Korea with a perfect score. And the recurves will be doing set play. And that means that each archer shoots three arrows per set. And the archer with the higher score Ten, ten, ten. Very good. Not bad. Oh, she held it together. She did, and that gives us one of the scenarios, which is a tied score. The archers have tied at 30 score points, which gives each archer one set point. The archer with a higher score out of the set will win two set points, and the archer who doesn't have the higher score will get zero set points. And it's, again, a race to six set points, just like it is for outdoor competition. Taking a good look at Berenger Chou, who defeated Pia Leonetti of Italy in the 1 8th round, then knocked off Gabriella Bayardo in the quarterfinals before falling in a shoot off to Katuna Lorig in the semifinals. That one decided by a score of 9 8 on that final arrow. It gets really close here in indoor competition. There's no elements that will be affecting any of the archers here. There's no wind, no sun, nothing. So it's literally just a game with yourself. There, there's nothing that can affect these archers right now. But right now is when you can start to see who's got the medal game to be able to perform at this high level. And we saw Berenger kind of having a little bit of flinch on that last, on that last arrow in the last set. But you mentioned just to me prior to getting on air here that Berenger had something done to her shoulder. I think she's been coming back from shoulder uh, injury that she suffered a couple of years ago, and it's been a little bit of a, a trail for her to come back, but she's here, and she's in this bronze medal match in Las Vegas. Stage four of the World Cup Indoor Tour, also the World Cup Finals Indoor. And Berenger Shu with her first shot, here's the second end. Both girls still running a perfect score, shooting tens on all of their arrows. Ten. 
And uh, interesting to note here that the recurve archers are, at least these two right now, are shooting X10 arrows. They're skinny arrows. They're actually meant for outdoor long-range competition. Awesome. Ten points. And you have your choice here in Las Vegas, don't you, you? You do. You definitely have your choice, but World Archery Rules states that you can only go up to a 23-sized aluminum shaft or a shaft of the equivalent diameter. But it, it being an Olympic Ten. year, these archers are probably trying to prep for being at the Olympics. So you don't want to really change a lot of equipment around. A lot of archers choose not to. And me being one of those archers, so I'm shooting small, skinny arrows. Yes, Look at that. Ten Tens across the board for both of these archers. No one has missed on the first six shots of this match. And the, the point that I was trying to make with the small, skinny arrows is that in this type of competition, if you're just touching the line with your arrow, you get the higher score. So playing or shooting with skinny arrows is almost like playing roulette. It's almost a disadvantage. It almost is, but in the sake of a recurve bow, it just tunes better. Uh, the arrows come out of the bow just a little bit cleaner than uh, some of the fat shafts that you can find out there. And the archers use this as their advantage of getting a cleaner shot, even if their, if their uh, execution on release isn't as clean as it should be they still can hit the 10, as you've seen here for the first six shots for both of these women in the bronze medal final. I mean, 2-2, two -two, tied, and both girls have not dropped any arrows out of the 10 ring. It's truly amazing. Good luck at Miss Shim. And once again, you look at her form, her style, as well as Beringer's shoe. We told you about Beringer's path to this bronze medal match. Miss Shim defeated her fellow countryman, Yun Jim Kim in the 1-8th round, 6-4, to four, then defeated Naomi Fulcard of Great Britain, 7-3 to three in the quarterfinals, before falling to Mackenzie Brown in the semifinals, 6-2. And she starts off this third set with another 10. Seven in a row for Miss Shim. The pressure on Berenger Shu, who That's is the uh, first one to blink. Nine or an eight, it's on the line, but our scorers and our spotters are calling that in. Ten points. Miss Shim is not letting up here. She's trying to take advantage of that nine from Berenger. It's unfortunate, but that's the way this game goes. The real task for Berenger was to shake off that first nine, come back, and recover. Now a golden opportunity here. If Miss Shim only shoots a nine, that's a nine. nine. It's clearly out according to our monitors but here. But it's enough. But it's enough. She has won this set because Berenger can shoot a 10, still get a 28, and Miss Shim still has 29, giving her that set and two set points. And that's a good way to finish off. She's got her confidence back. After those first two arrows, you, some archers, especially me on my first day shooting here, were wondering why some of these arrows aren't going into the middle. And Berenger was able to come back on that third arrow Unfortunately, she could not do anything with that set. She was going to lose that set anyway. She couldn't even tie. So it's a good thing to come back and just shoot a 10, get comfortable, get, get uh, confident back on the field of play, and come out swinging for the next set. But right now, it's going to be 4-2 to two for Miss Shim. And Bar Miss Shu, Miss Berenger Shu, must start to you know, get back into those thir that 30 groove. But Miss Shim has not shot any nines thus far, and that's pretty amazing shooting. You know, we talk about playing forward, and, and I know you've been out in that situation. I have not. It's much easier said than done. It's easy for me to sit here and say, hey, yeah. shake off that nine and just concentrate on the next shot. But that's not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. it, it really isn't. And this starts to show who's mentally tough at this stage of the game. And I've been in this situation where I've been down uh, like 4 nothing, I've been down 4-2 and still be able to come back. And that's just being able to, you know, get my head back in the game, tell myself exactly what I need to do, and get out there and execute. And that's all that we really need to do in this sport, is be able to execute with confidence and get that shot in the middle. Berenger Shu trying to fight her way back into the match. She has to take care of her own business right now. And she does on that first shot of this fourth set. Ten. G, another 10. Tearing up that target. She doesn't, she doesn't need fat arrows, apparently. She just puts them into the 10 ring and, you know, call it a day. 
trying to play catch up. Berenger uh, Shu, did she catch that line? Uh, she just had, outside. She had a little bit of a flinch right before she let go, and that's that's just a how do I say it? It's just not a confidence in the muscles. That's another ten. She's. I like the way you say that. It's another ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what else at this point of the game, right? But um, she just has to shoot strong. Berenger must just shoot strong shots. Fighting for her life right now. Uh, she did not look very happy coming off of that shot. It wasn't caught on TV, but it wasn't a very good shot in her opinion. So here's the shot for the win. And a nine will be enough to do it. And that apparently there's going to be a judge's call. It would appear as though Ms. Shim has won the bronze medal. We're looking at Berenger's second arrow. I think that's what the judges were looking at downrange. And there's a big difference because if they tie in this set, they split the points and will play on. Mm -hmm. Berenger, though, comes over, congratulates, and shakes the hand of Shim Yeji of Korea. Apparently, Berenger Shu believes that she has lost the match. And looking at the official score downrange, it is 6-2. Victory for Miss Shim and wins our first medal of the night. So the bronze goes to Korea. Shim Yeji, who has had a strong, strong day. Won the 1 8 match, 6 to 4. Won her quarterfinal match over Naomi Folkart, 7 to 3. Fell to Mackenzie Brown, 6 to 2, but bounces back and wins by the same score of 6 to 2 here in the women's bronze medal match on a Saturday night in Las Vegas at the fourth stage of the World Archery Indoor World Cup Tour. Along with Crispin Duenas of Canada, I'm Carl Arkey. Good, glad to have you with us here on Archery TV as we take another look at the form of Shimyeji. And Berenger Shu got off to a great start, Crispin, but then things started to happen in that third set when she had those pair of nines. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I've seen her shooting, and a lot of recurve archers will remember her performance in Nimes back in 2010, I believe.